G'day and welcome back to my channel. Now there's a whole pile of stuff here behind me, right? Can you see all that? Yes, <laughs> it's been piling up. And the thing is, it's the Equinox. Well, the Equinox was last week. But every time we have an Equinox down here in Australia, well, I think you have them all over the world, but you guys get confused. This for us is our Autumn Equinox. Oh, I'll have to translate that for the Americans. Fall. Yeah, okay. Autumn Equinox, which on the Northern Hemisphere is spring anyway, so what the hell, there's no need for an explanation. But... <laughs> Once I have an equinox, then in the next few weeks, I do a seasonal workbench and new kits. Yeah, yeah. It's one of those videos where I kind of fondle the new kits that have come in, right? And I also get out and expose completely and show you all the intimate details of what I'm working on. So um, does that sound interesting? <laughs> well, I hope so. Let's get on with it. Roll the music. And for those of you that ask, yes, the arm is healing and I'm feeling better. I can even hold up my tug mug now. Yes, tug mugs are available at the store. There'll be a link at the end of this video or it's in the description. But don't stop watching the video. All right, first off, what's on the bench right now? And that, of course, is the Vikings. Yeah, the duck finally sent me back the, uh, the Viking figures. He's painted some of them. He got bored with it. Actually, he didn't like the plastic. That's all it was. It was actually, it's more of a, I know, a rubber or something. He didn't like it. So that's fine. I'll finish off those and I'll uh, have that in the next video, which is coming up. Next video after this will be just a quick wrap up on the Gokstar because, um, well, uh, not much to see here. I'm working on the tail and I'm working on the head. All the insides and everything are done as was per in the last video. Go back and watch that. There'll be a link at the end of this video or down in the description. So the Gokstar is coming along. It's nearly there. As you can see, the photo is pretty well you know, together. I'm just doing a new head and a new tail on it. Okay, it's got a new snappy little mouth, dragon's mouth, and it's getting a nice pointy little dragon's tail. Yes, I thought so. That would be a good idea. So that's coming along nicely. Now, the one that causes controversy, after all the things I've said about Tamiya, <laughs> I am enjoying this kit, I thoroughly am, and um, I sort of got to a point where I'd painted it and then I started doing all the assembly on the inside and everything and it was getting a bit complicated and fiddly and, and I'd sort of gone back to work and I was too tired and I thought, I'll just spend the weekend doing the gog start. Well, one thing led to another and two weeks have gone by and I haven't done any more on this. So I will do another video. I'll push in my schedule, remember there's a schedule. I'll push my schedule out another week and we will get more of this. But basically... Um, it's all sort of painted up and I've got most of the suspension sort of worked down the front of it. How hard can it be? <laughs> and now, one of the most anticipated and requested kits. Yes, the Short Sunderland. I will start looking at that this weekend. First weekend of April, okay? Hope you saw my April Fool's Day joke. <laughs> I told everybody I was so broke I couldn't afford to do colour anymore and all my videos from now on are in black and white. A lot of people believe me. Yeah, April Fools. Yeah. Anyhow, Short Sunderland from Airfix. Yes. This one was, when I did the review on it, it just huge, huge response. He was so excited about it. I went, okay, I was going to build my old bottles that I haven't finished, but let's put this one in the schedule and everyone agreed. So, the Short Sunderland starts today. Okay, I'll do a little bit on it, start getting organised. I know I've got the paint for it somewhere. I've got to find that. So I will basically get prepared on that. And by Easter, there will be a video on the short Sunderland. Okay, so you've got that to look forward to. All right, what else have I got in this pile? And for those of you that thought I'd forgotten about it, no, no, no. The St. Louis actually sits in the living room with me. It's in my display cabinet all lit up. And so it looks really pretty in there. It's just got bare masts and a bit of string hanging off it from the last video. Now, I'm going to make some corrections because there's some people that complained about the way I was doing my rigging. And although it's just a model, um, I'm taking a bit of their advice on board, right? Uh, not the nasty way that they presented it, but in a more practical and sort of useful way. And I'm going to modify my um, dead eyes a little bit, just a little bit. And it's an easy way to do it. And it's a good thing to do. So there you go. So Mr. Nasty out there. Yeah, you're going to get a little bit of result, mate. But I really, you know, all that bullshit that you put out. Arr! It's a model, okay? There's no way you can get a model sailing ship to be exactly like the real ship. No, nah, you can't put the number of ropes on it. It's impossible. Well, it's not impossible. If you put it on it, the thing would probably collapse under its own weight of string. Yes, stupid. So you put enough on and you do enough knots and you do enough things so that it kind of looks indicative of a ship. That's what modeling's about. They are approximations. They are not exact. No model is the perfect representation of the real thing. 
No, not at all. Okay, and I'll fight you over that. <laughs> all right, so St. Louis, yes, she's coming back. And um, yeah, masks going up, things are happening there. Sales will go on. I'll get all the running rigging done and all the, um, well, there'll be a lot of knots. Let's put it that way. Okay, and I'll show you how to make a new ratline tool. Yes, I've got a brand new idea. And coming along in my schedule, as promised, yes, the sting rate's too big, it's too big, it's too big. I've got to lean over here. It's hurting, it's hurting. The oh, I don't know how to get around this. The sting ray is back. Yes, so many of you said, oh, really, we'd enjoy the sting ray then. You stopped. Yeah, well, I'm just, there was sort of a schedule and things I had to do and, you know, and, and I love it, but not a lot of people seem to like fantasy subjects or, you know, things that have got puppets in them. No, can't understand why. You know, they want things of mayhem and death. Well, Stingray does kind of shoot some things out of here. I, I don't know. And it's got a mermaid. Yes, a mute mermaid. That's got to be good for something. Surely. Yes. <laughs> hang on, hang on, hang on. You haven't said anything about wood kits. No. There's supposed to be some wood kits. People keep asking. Uh, yes, he will be doing the bounty and he will be looking on that Perska, per, 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 whatever, that motorboat thing. They will happen. They're the Sunday videos he's supposed to get around to. But he hasn't pulled his little finger out yet. Okay, on with the video. So the Stingray is back, but that won't be until June. Okay, and also the one that I just showed you there, the um, the Airfix um, St. Louis, right? That is not until May, okay? So, you know, April, May, June. I'm just giving you the rundown. The next three months, we will get a quick video out in the gosh start, what I've done, okay? I'll get another video out on the Tamiya Nearly forgot what it was there. I've got Tamiya block in my brain. The Tamiya F1 Honda, right? Won't get it finished, but it'll, we'll pretty well get it that it's got some suspension. I'll probably get the motor on or something. We'll get it pretty close, okay? So that'll be mopped up later in the year. And then, as promised, the Sunderland comes in, followed by St. Louis, and then in June, this one, Stingray, okay? Each one gets about a month, okay? And then a whole new schedule starts after... The winter solstice. Well, for me, it's a winter solstice. For you, it's a summer solstice. Look, it's that time of the year when something's longer than something else, okay? And when we're doing a workbench and new kits, we like things to be very long. <laughs> All right, now of this, let's have a look at the new kits I've bought. This is going to be a really short secret. <laughs> yes, yeah, just having a coffee out of my tug mug. You two can get one, remember? They're available at the store. All right, this is the part, new kits. Okay, there's workbench we've just done, and now new kits. Well, there hasn't been a hell of a lot. It's not like previous years with us. Piles and piles and piles, but there are a few. There are a few, and, and some of them you've seen. So you've um, you've seen the lightning, okay? Did a video on that. Well, right, there'll be a link at the end of this video, and you can look at that. I don't put links in the videos anymore, because apparently what happens is you see the link, you click it, you go out, means you don't watch the end of the video and I lose monetization and, and then the, the, the algorithm goes, oh, people only watch half your videos. So there's no more links until the end of the video. See, thinking, thinking all the time. Yeah, yeah. <sighs> okay, so that is a snappy little kit. Um, really like that. It was a gift, actually. So um, I didn't have to purchase it. Sent all the way from somebody, and I can't remember who, but I said it in the video. You know who you are, okay? You don't need me to say you know. Yes, you probably want to, but I've forgotten, right? Now, um, this one I do know who sent to me. David Eve sent this to me as sort of a birthday present. Although it's not my birthday for about another six months. So, um, yeah, thanks, David. It's lovely. I think he wanted to cheer me up because I'd broken my arm and everything. As you know, I was sort of wandering around like Quasimodo. Right? And um, so David, the lovely guy, he saw this. It was like next to nothing in a junk sale somewhere. and went, do you want it? You know, it might be rubbish. It might be... Actually, it turns out it's um, a rebox, I think, of an old little kit or something like that. And um, it's not bad. It's not bad at all. And for a gift... Thank you, David. It's wonderful. So, yes, there will be a hog on the bench. And it's a fat boy, too. Maybe he was trying to say something. Yeah. Mm. Okay. Now, in a weak moment, <laughs> sitting there feeling very sorry for myself because I've got no arm, you know, and um, in pain on painkillers, I probably wasn't thinking very straight. And I was watching, you know, flicking through, and I'd seen everything on Netflix and seen everything on bloody Prime, and, you know, and, and so there was just, oh, what am I watching? I sort of... Ended up on Discovery Channel or, or something, or Curiosity Channel, right? And I'm watching some documentaries on cars. Up comes the history of the Lamborghini. And it was terrific. And there was another video about it. And I got this whole Lamborghini thing happening. So this accidentally happened. I went, oh, 
I did build a Lamborghini as a kid. I remember I built a big yellow one. It was lovely. You know, all the you know, doors open. But it was kind of one of those die-casty, plasticky ones. You know, Some of it was metal. Some of it was plastic. You kind of screwed it together. Right? It wasn't really much gluing. So anyhow, I sort of did my research and hunted around. And apparently Hassie Gower, which I believe, yeah, it's a Hassie. Hassie Gower does a nice one. Um, you do have to do a little bit of work on it if you want the doors to open, things like that, which I will thoroughly enjoy. So um, I picked this up. I snapped it up as a bargain. It was like a no-post bargain type thing. Um, literally half the price of what most of them were selling for and much less than that for the ones overseas where people were asking an arm, leg and a bloody kidney. Okay? And you not have my kidney. I've lost my arm. I'm not giving away my kidney. Now, this is a strange one from David Eves, and I'm still not quite sure about it. Okay, I don't even know what it is. It's it's supposed to be amusing, right? Um, maybe someone out there really knows what this is and would really love it. Because, I, I, I don't know, I got it from him and I sort of looked at it and thought, yeah, you know, is it, is it 135th? Yeah, it's 135th, but it's huge. It's a great big sort of, it's not real. I, I believe it's a, I don't know. Does anybody know what this is? Because <laughs> it's sort of... Uh, David wanted one of my kits and I went sort of just send me something back don't you know because because he'd given me the hog and then he said I'll send you this and I went oh that's worth a lot of money it's worth a lot of money but I'll tell you what I've decided it's got to go okay it's got to go I, I don't it doesn't gel with me it's not going to fit in look it took me five years to get that panther done this probably I'll be kicking up the daisies and there'll still be no paint on this so it, it would probably better go to somebody that really can appreciate it so the person with the best offer and the funniest joke right <laughs> It's yours. It's yours. Just um, contact me via the page or via email off the website or, you know, Boomerang, or, you know, the cat channel, whatever. Now, again, here I am sitting, feeling very sorry for myself, you know, because you made a arm, right? And, um, and I bought the Lamborghini, you know, and, um, well, listen to that. There's, there's a fat boy going by right now. Hello, fat boy. You notice I've got my... Um, just in case. People ask about my apparel. I don't know why it is. There are people that actually comment on my apparel. Um, it's a modelling channel. Yep, yep. Oh, and those that comment on my moustache, well, I didn't glue it this time. This is not glued. No. Usually I glue the points to the pound up. But this time, I've used bull oil. Bull oil is really good for your moustaches. Sponsorship, please. I could do with small free bottles. Okay, another that shameless self-promotion. <laughs> Now, as I said, I'm sitting there feeling very forlorn, okay? Very forlorn. Oh, look, that's the best scratchy post down there. Uh, <coughs> amazing what you can see under my desk. So I'm feeling very forlorn. Yes, look at it. And um, I have enjoyed working on the Tamiya F1. And I sort of looked around for what else is available, and they're all ridiculous, ridiculous prices. I mean, hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of Australian shekels, right? Well, Australian dollars, right? So many, 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 many. And I started hunting around, and then, lo and behold, not far from me, I mean, I could probably drive down and pick it up, but the guy was offering free postage. And also, there's this thing called Afterpay. You know what Afterpay is? Afterpay is so you can impulse buy, and it doesn't cost you anything until later on, and then they start taking it out of your pay. Yeah, ooh, ow, ooh. So, yeah, I impulse buy it. I had no money. I was sitting home feeling sick. This came up for a ridiculous price, and I remember the JPS vehicles. I remember the racing around the racetrack with, you know, and um, <clears throat> I also used to, um, you know, not that we do that anymore, those brand, you know, <clears throat> those, yeah, and they were JPS. I thought it was really cool, black box with old gold thing and JPS. And I thought I was a racing car driver, of course, no serious racing car driver would imbue a sort of a destructive drug like that. And we wouldn't do that anymore, would we? No, apparently not. <laughs> So nanny bots don't demonetize me. All right, so the JPS, it's a lovely kit. Uh, it did arrive, and then I was kind of a bit disappointed. There was, it had been squashed by the postie, and the whole top part here had snapped and broken. I went, oh, no. So um, I contacted the guy, and he was lovely. Literally sent straight away all the part, part was broken, and he also sent me clear part, which seemed to have fallen out of the kit. So bang, he replaced everything. Fantastic guy. If you want to get onto me and ask privately about the guy that's selling these sort of kits here in Australia, if you're around Brizzy in this area, I will wholeheartedly recommend him, and you can contact him because he has quite a lot of the stuff. i got an eye on a Ferrari, but I don't really need it. I don't need it. I, you know, I'm only just starting to pay this one off. Yeah, that's the thing. You know, you don't pay anything for a while, and then suddenly Afterpay says, oh, by the way, you owe us a leg. 
Oh, gosh. Well, couldn't you take an arm? No, it's broken. <laughs> so, that is the entire workbench and new kits video. So, you know, push buttons, you know, liking, commenting, all that sort of thing. Now, Bass was going to be in this video. Yes, Bass the Cat was going to have a usual sort of starring role she often does, but the little cat, <laughs> she knocked my prize gold medal winning model off the shelf. Now that has sat in its display case for years on bookcases and here and there and all over the place. And I just recently put it into my um, display cubes beside my TV set, my new entertainment cabinet. And um, for some reason, she decided to crawl up in there, I don't know how, get inside the cube, get behind the thing. Oh, look at that, it falls. And she smashed up my favourite, well, my award-winning kit. It's only thing I've got a gold medal for, you know. Um, there's a video about that as well. Again, at the end of the video. And... Speaking of the end of the video, that's it. So, bye from Australia, and it's Harry from Harry and Eddie.